Hello everyone and welcome to a quick tutorial in RPG Developer Bakin. Today I'm going to show you how to import a Mitsumo model into RPG Developer Bakin. I've had quite a bit of people ask me this question, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it. It's actually very simple. Um, here I've loaded up a model. Uh, you're going to load it from the website. You're going to click the Upload Character button. You'll click your FBX. You'll click Next. You'll or put all the plate or er, dots where they need to go. So chin, wrist, elbow, knees, and groin is a little pretty much like the belly button. Um, depending on your model's hands, uh, you might want to pick uh, no fingers if you don't have any fingers. Uh, this guy has three fingers, so we will use three fingers. Take a second. All right, once that's all finished, you click next. We're going to look for an idle animation. This is how we're going to start. Um, this is going to be the uh, the base of everything. Um, it doesn't matter which one you pick. You can pick any of these. You can go through all of them. You can pick whatever you want. Just make sure you have some sort of wait slash idle animation. Uh, you can mess with all these if you want. You don't have to. You'll click the download button. And then uh, these settings are very important. So make sure you pick with skin and then the frames per second 60 and you'll click download. I won't do that because I've already done that. Now when we want to add more animations, like say walk. Click walk. Make sure, hope uh, majority of them will have an in place option. You'll want to click that for sure. Um, you can tweak these settings however you'd like. We're going to click download. And this is very important without skin because we don't need the model to have skin anymore because we have our weight animation that is going to be the base of everything. So we'll do it without skin. Same for uh, 60 frames per second. Uh, download. You don't have to worry about any keyframe reduction. Now, if you want to add like a run, you pick any one of these runs. We'll pick, I don't know, this. That's fine. Make sure it's in place. Like I said, miss with the settings again, download, and then do the same thing without skin. Now, going into Bakin. Where is it? Uh, I already have them all set up right now. Um, but you're going to use the graphic is going to be your idle animation that's going to be the base of everything because as you can see the bones are um the other animations which you don't need to have skin for because if you have skin i mean you can it doesn't really matter but it can get really wonky if you have skin so it's best to just have an idle animation with the skin um so there's that and you'll go to your motions uh, you'll start with this called idle as in the file name right there. Um, you're going to want to change that to wait. Sometimes you might have to copy the uh, Mitsumo information and put it in, in the internal name. It doesn't always work like that. Usually it's when it's like you import a model um, from like Unity or something and it kind of messes up. Or it can mess up and then you'd have to rename, put the uh, internal name over here and then you can put the motion name. But as you can see, you have walk, wait, walk, run. You'll add your motions here. Um, so I have the walking, the running. Make sure they're named properly so Bakim can uh, register it correctly. You click OK. And then you just test play. It's very simple. See, he can walk. He can, well, maybe. He can run. I mean, he can jump, but there's no, I didn't put a jump animation. But yeah, that's really it. Uh, so if you have any questions, just send me a message in the Discord and I will see y'all on the next one. Bye bye.